Let's talk about the Alabama Crimson Tide. Honestly, I have been so surprised with what Kalen DeBoer has been able to do with this team. Everyone thought there's going to be a mad dash out of Alabama when Nick Saban left, but this team truly has turned around, and now they have shown they've gotten some elite-level talent back into this program, and even some transfers they got are showing to be some of the best in the country. Let's get into the article, and we can talk more about all of this on the other side. One guy in particular doing well is Damani Jackson, the new DB for Alabama. It says, all new transfers hope to make a favorable first impression, but not all immediately turn heads during spring practice. Now, as spring practice is taking place across the country, here are five transfers who have already opened eyes at their new school. First on the list was defensive back Damani Jackson of Alabama, formerly at Southern Cal. It says the skinny of the, uh, Damani Jackson, it's a funny way to say it, after losing both of their starting quarterbacks to the NFL, the Titans seemed to have hit a home run with Jackson's addition. The Southern Cal transfer, who selected Alabama over Michigan, has been a consistent playmaker during the first half of spring practice. With his 6'1", 190-pound frame, he should make an immediate impact for the Tide this fall. This is, of course, from over on Mike Barrel Sports. Nick, I'm curious what your thoughts are on Jackson and this addition to the Alabama defense. But Alabama fans, in the comment section below, let us know. Spring ball is upon us. There's a lot of interesting prospects out on the field. Which position group are you looking at the closest during spring ball? Let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this latest news about the Alabama transfer? Yeah, so when Alabama first reportedly was going to get Jackson from USC, it was one of those ultimate asymmetric kind of moves where it was low risk, high reward. Because Jackson coming out of high school was a five star elite cornerback uh, prospect. He was going to be one of the top ones in the entire class. He had everything height, weight, speed, and athleticism, played at a very good level of high school football. He seemed to be like a perfect modern corner. He goes to USC and frankly really struggles early on in his career. He dealt with a few things, of course, with injuries. I think the coaching changes and the just, I'm going to be totally blunt, the terrible nature of the USC defense over the past two seasons, I think really weighed on him. He didn't get a a lot of playing time get, didn't get a lot of opportunities and I think that really put him in a bad situation but credit to Kalen DeBoer new head coach a new program at the Alabama Crimson Tide for bringing in this guy because he still has all the physical talents he still has all the gifts one of the things about five stars and this is the same thing with like first round picks in the NFL is that if the reason they're a five star or the reason they're a first round pick is innate physical talent paired with natural football instincts is that with good coaching, eventually it'll shine through. And look, this is a kid in Jackson who has great football instincts, is a great athlete, has physical tools. With good coaching and in the right environment, you knew it would eventually shine through. And the fact that it's shining through in this uh, new under this new staff at Alabama, one, just shows that DeBoer did a great job getting this kid, transferring him down to Tuscaloosa. But two, that this coaching staff has the ability to kind of elevate players that were feeling beat down by to be totally honest not to pick on usc too much but i think even trojans fans will admit their defensive staff last couple of years was second rate in terms of college football this alabama staff obviously is not second rate and they, they've done a phenomenal job again elevating jackson revealing and allowing him to shine as the true elite prospect he was i think as time continues to go on this addiction, this addition, I should say, of, of Jackson to the Alabama Crimson Tide will look like one of their best moves of the offseason. Yeah, Nick, and you brought it up, and I think this is something to touch on. Grinch at Southern Cal was actually just a horrible defensive coordinator. He really was a misusing of talent. He didn't have any business really being on the field with the, the level of play that he put out there. Flash forward, Kane Womack of Alabama coming from South Alabama. He's been great. I think he's a very interesting head or defensive coordinator coach. I think he was a great head coach the last few years at South Alabama. Did a lot of good stuff there. Bringing him into the fold and paired with, we did a story a few months ago talking about how he's been working one-on-one -on -one with Nick Saban, still getting those defensive tips and tricks going on the line. I think, like you said, all of this great innate talent, like we've talked about Jackson, he's got elite level speed. This is a kid who won the California State Championship in track in high school. He put sub-11 second 100-meter dash times on the board. This kid's blazing fast. He has all the physical tools. With this Alabama level of coaching, which has always been some of the best in the country, probably the best in the country on the defensive side of the ball, he's eventually going to shine through. So like you said, 
ultimate low risk, high reward grab of the Monty Jackson. And now we're seeing him in spring ball. And he's really starting to pop. And I think this is just validation that Coach Kellen DeBoer made the right decision in going after this transfer addition. And I think we're going to see, once again, another elite Alabama defensive back probably eventually head off to the ranks of the NFL.